<laughs> Hello everybody. My name is Sarah, also known as Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman. And we're having another bathrobe chat. And But yet, yeah, I don't have anything that I am upset about today. So this isn't a rant. My um, video for this morning uploaded just fine. So I'm really in a good space. And um, today is my day off. So I'm excited. And I have not shown you my freezers or pantry yet in a, um, a grocery haul kind of thing. A grocery haul already in place. But um, I have promised Greg that I would begin to work on the things that are in there. I know it is just packed. And um, two days ago I ordered from um, Pizza Fit and Free a dozen organic um organic pizzas, gluten-free organic pizzas, because they were on sale on sale, and I always like on sale, but then when it's on sale on sale, again, um, so a dozen pizzas for um, $51 works for me, because I have one every Friday, and um, there's 364 calories and 10 points in each one. I will probably show you a picture of that. It comes in a white styrofoam um, container with some dry ice and it's delivered it's not delivered by UPS or FedEx at least to me it comes in this other van so it's like this private delivery thing I don't know it's kind of cool and I was having the pizza fit and free which you can only get online or um, from Weight Watcher Girl 1 her website has a link and um, <clears throat> one of those is six points so um, I know it's a hundred calories 100 plus calories more for the gluten-free but you know um, I found the other ones the fat-free ones that was great when I was in the losing mode but maintaining I like that taste of like regular mozzarella and I like the or the organic and the idea of the gluten-free and so what I'm finding for um, my food choices is that when it comes to something that could be um, formally eaten as uh, wheat I'm now searching for the gluten-free. I haven't seen a gluten-free uh, wasa bread or Melba toast, so those will remain the same. And the wraps that I'm seeing, which I haven't had in a long, long time, um, I don't see them as gluten-free, but um, definitely less wheat or carbs or something. I don't understand their their uh, that um, configuration that they do with the net carb thing. But anyway, I'm digressing because it's, you know, four in the morning and um, I'm having my first cup of coffee. And here's to you, all of you that watch me in my robe going on and on. It's kind of fun, isn't it? And um, I got so much response from it, even the keep your headband on. So here I am. Um, so anyway, I'm awaiting that. And um, so it's pizza fit. And then that apostrophe N free website, um, if you go to it. And um, just reading about them is great. I just honor that company. So why do I do that instead of getting my Whole Foods gluten-free pizza, of which I have three, two frozen and one for tonight? Um, why do I do that? Well, because I was in, um, I was in Whole Foods the other day, and there wasn't one there. And I live in a resort area. And so, as they segue into the summer needs of people, um, all of a sudden, you know, there wasn't one there, and I got that panicked thing. Of course, you know, the hoarder in the freezer, I've got the other two. But, so I just wanted to load up, and then, um, and then the cost was definitely less, like 30% less for me to get the pizza fit and free. So I'll try them out, but in order to do that, I have to make room in my freezer. So are you following me on this? What are your goals? Do you have a freezer like mine? And I'm not talking one freezer. I'm talking, uh, you know, a floor-to-ceiling one and then two refrigerators, freezers. I, I got to do something. It's bad. It's bad. Um, I have to feel safe with what I have and then I can go to the store tomorrow and buy stuff. And Lord knows, <coughs> excuse me, eating a lot of fresh veggies I'm in the store, you know, four or five different stores all of the a time. So what else? Well, I'm awaiting my Thrive package with all of those grocery hauls that I got from them. And I noticed on their website, and I did not order it, and how I wish I did, was a Stevia dark chocolate um, 
chip, you know, like the um, Nestle's Toll House morsels, made with stevia. And I think it said something like a quarter of a cup is 60 calories. Whoa! I'll do that. Because um, I like to do things with my puddings. Um, add the fresh fruits and then some little chips. And they aren't the mini chips. Um, but that's okay. Um, dark chocolate made with stevia for 60 calories for a quarter of a cup. Yes, yeah, sign me up. They don't have them at Amazon because I immediately went there to order them. So once again, it's one of those hard to find items. But... Um, I will get it from Thrive. And if you haven't seen me talk about Thrive, Thrive is some its a some sort of store based in California. I don't know if it's a walk-in store as well. But um, I did a $100 order on Memorial Day because it was 25% off and free shipping over 49 And then it's kind of like the Amazon thing. You have to join at 60 bucks for the year. But it will be worth it for me because if I can order... Um, my organic corn, um, my organic coconut, um, coconut and canola oil and olive oils, 25% um, off. I'm gonna do it because food is so expensive down here on Cape Cod, especially in the summer. So, um, what else is new? Um, <clears throat> there was something floating in my head, but apparently it didn't stay there. Maybe it co it'll come back with the second cup of coffee. Oh, I know. So I do have a little bit of a talk with my bathrobe chat today. And it is, um, it's the term feeling fat. Isn't that funny that we say, I feel fat. And feeling fat. Feeling, it's an emotional thing, right? To feel. <clears throat> um, you don't feel fat. You know, you either are <laughs> or you're not. But, um, you know, that's... Um, for your own, for your own inside um, <clears throat> assessment, but it's just kind of funny when you say, "I feel fat," or "I feel hungry." Um, you know, it's like I feel hungry. I feel. I mean, I feel angry. I feel sad. I feel whatever. It's just so funny working in the therapeutic community that I do, and when you say something like that, and you're not that you're immediately corrected, but for us to try to guide these young, um, young mother's minds. It's just interesting to say that. So um, today I don't feel fat. I did a, a little talk that'll show up somewhere here about humidity, adding a couple, <clears throat> a couple of pounds to your weight and just not taking it. Don't take it personally. <laughs> don't feel it personally. Um, you know, it is, it's just what happens with humidity um, if you've got that body type and I happen to have that body type. Um, I'm always amazed at those skinny little things that don't have that body type that feel like a beached whale at the end of the day, but I am one of them. So what am I going to do today? Well, I'm going to walk in a little bit. I still like walking when it's dark out. A couple of people said, take me on your walk. It's like, it's the dark. Um, and I will probably listen to, um, a Dr. Drew podcast or a Dr. Drew and Adam podcast. I get so much common sense from the two of them as well as, um, <clears throat> help with addictions and things like that. Dr. Drew is just great, and he was interviewing somebody yesterday as I walked, and he's addicted to everything. And as some people say in my meetings, addicted to more, and I understand the addicted to more. And, um, you know, one of, one of my things with my addiction recovery, um, be it food, alcohol, shopping, hoarding food, and, um, and other things, is that... Um, it switches, you know. So as soon as I um, dealt with the alcohol, along came the food. And as soon as I kind of like looked at the food a little bit, along came the shopping or the clothes or the whatever. And so it's just very, very interesting when, especially a man in his growing up and evolving, recognizes um, all of his things. And one of his things was food. And it was just great to hear him. Um, I love hearing about men's journeys with food. And um, you've heard some of me, uh, some of my videos I've talked about Greg's best friend um, and how he is um, morbidly obese, I guess, and um, he and his wife. And let me see, they didn't do the 17-day diet because something happened, you know, the reasons. And now they're doing um, a green tea cleansing 
one and um, it's going okay except that he's not following it. <laughs> so I kind of laughed at that and I was just kind of thinking, you know, how many of us have done su such journeys to get to where we are here where we're learning about food and how good nutrition is. I was with a friend yesterday who's lost some weight, not on Weight Watchers, and she was talking about egg whites. And she said, it just seemed like a crime for me to take that egg, and you know how you take the egg and crack it, and you can do that to just get the yolk, um, you know, instead of buying a carton of egg whites and stuff. And she said, it just seemed like such a crime to throw away that egg yolk. And I told her that when I was in the losing stage of, of my Weight Watcher journey, you know, I did one egg with three tablespoons of egg whites. And then once I reached maintenance, which I've been on since last October 2014, I said, I want those real eggs. I want two of them. And so I'm having two organic eggs today with a third of a cup of the Weight Watcher shredded Mexican cheese and then a panapoli, love that word, of fresh fruit. And that will be my breakfast. I'm all out of the um, baby organic spinach, which I would usually make into an omelet. But these will be scrambled eggs with the cheese melting all through it. Oh, doesn't that sound divine? And with the Weight Watchers, you can have a third of a cup. With the Sargento reduced fat, you can have a quarter of a cup. So um, these are some of the fun things that I've got lined up for the day. After my four-mile walk, I'll do some grocery shopping. Things for the refrigerator, not for the freezer. <laughs> And, um, which is basically what it ends up being. You know, it's berries, lettuce, almond milk. Um, my son's coming for dinner with his wife on Sunday, so I need to get some filet mignons, because that's their favorite. And they kind of turned us on to that from the fat, marbly um, choices that Greg and I were making with steak. And lo and behold, you know, it works with Weight Watchers, doesn't it? And, um... And so there might be a grocery haul later um, that Greg will produce. We'll see um, if he's up to it. You know, he's a busy man, and, you know, pulling him to produce a, a video is, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a gift when he does it. And I'm waiting for my Thrive box. Um, you know, these are the things I'm doing on my day off. I don't know if it's a beach day. I'd love to think I could go sit in a chair and look out at the ocean and ponder my life since Weight Watchers, which has been nothing but uphill, which is nice. Is your journey with Weight Watchers uphill? You know, we all have a couple of steps back and then three forward. <coughs> Paulin! Can we say Paulin? Um, so anyway, I hope you have a wonderful spring day and um, you've got your food all ready for the weekend. You've tracked, at least put in the bones of your week, and then you can fill in the other things after you hit the sales, after you see what the flyers say. I've done mine. I've seen what's on sale at the different places, and I will take off today to get all kinds of fruits and veggies. I just love, just love Weight Watchers and how it's turned my life around. So I hope you have a wonderful day and you don't feel fat and you don't look fat and you don't want to be fat, <laughs> and um, enjoy your time. This has been Sarah, Weight Watcher Cape Cod Woman. Until the next time, bye-bye.